God bless. Well, what are your plans? Plans? The child in the bedroom. Oh, Lucy. I met her on the plane. Yeah. She's a religious freak. I give her a cap before I realize, Jesus, she's never even had a drink. Well, it'll probably work out. We can keep her loaded and then uh, peddle her ass at the drug convention. Yeah. She's perfect for this gig. These cops will go 50 bucks a head to beat her into submission and then gang fuck her. We can set her up in one of these backstreet motels, hang pictures of Jesus all over the room, and then turn these fucking pigs loose on her. Oh, she's strong, man. She'll hold her own. Jesus Christ, I knew you were sick, but I never expected to hear you actually say that kind of stuff. You filthy bastard. Straight economics, man. This girl's a godsend. Shit, she can make us a grand a day. That's ugly, man. Stop talking like that. I figure she can do about four at a time. What are you talking? If you keep her full of acid, it's more like two grand a day. Maybe three. Uh... Come on, man. What if I just jump on you and beat the dumb shit out of you? Does that make you feel any better, you filthy bastard? All right, listen to me. In a few hours, she'll probably be sane enough to work herself into some sort of towering Jesus-based rage at the hazy recollection of being seduced by some kind of cruel Samoan who fed her liquor and LSD, dragged her to a Vegas hotel room, and then savagely penetrated every orifice in her little body with his throbbing, uncircumcised member. That's so ugly, man. Uh, truth hurts. That's ah. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, that's ah. Uh, hmm? uh. Well, you'll go straight to the gas chamber for this one. And even if you manage to beat that, they'll still send you back to Nevada for rape and consensual sodomy. Oh, she's got to go, man. Shit. It doesn't pay to try to help somebody these days, huh?